Meet Lainey. Her friends know her Lord as strong, always determined, and full of kindness. But much of Lainey's backstory can be traced back to when she was just six years old, the time she was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. So Crohn's disease is a chronic inflammation of the intestine. If I've taken care of, I would say, 500 patients, she's among the, I would say, top challenge. A challenge unknown to the students around her. But I could be walking the halls and you would not know. Like being, having to go through such a struggle at a really, really young Stop. age has made me like a warrior per se. Like I, I hide it. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's how I cope with it is I hide it. If you think about a lady in labor pains, then you could think about an eight-year-old sitting in a chair with a bellyache. She would scream and cry and it hurt. And this is, I say, an eight-year-old. Six months ago, I could see you would sit with her and hold her while she would cry big crocodile tears and scream and squeeze your hand because her belly hurt that bad from the pain from the Crohn's disease. And there's nothing you can do. Like anything worth waiting for, delivering a positive outcome is first and foremost for Lainey. I always find my way around a problem that my Crohn's causes. No, I've just that's a big biologic taking it one step at a time. And I mean, this is still the same thing today. But you don't give up. You work through your problem. You make the best of the good days. You make the best of the bad days. And you just keep moving forward. That's one. And what Lainey wants to leave you with begs the question, at the core, is she really that rare after all? You know, I want people to know that I'm an 18-year-old girl who goes to high school like any other person, who's there for her friends, cares for her friends, dances around in class. The frog in her natural being, habitat. Like, just being my goofy self. <laughs> I want people to see that I'm a person. It's tough. So when it's good, you hope it stays good. Reporting for Wolf Bite TV, this has been Matt McCabe and Tess Caldwell.